guys. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday when I am recording this video. Tomorrow starts the weekend and tomorrow it's supposed to be 80 degrees. I'm so excited. I thought it was going to be warmer today, but I think it's actually a little chilly since the sun isn't out now. So anyway, we are going to start a new topic um, and it it is called fractions, okay? Now, you might think, what in the world is a fraction? I'm going to tell you, all right? A fraction is an equal part of a whole. What's, what does that mean? That means, okay, if I have a pie, okay, pretend I have a small pie, like a, uh, a whoopie pie or just a mini apple pie or something. And if I take, so this is the whole pie. If I take one piece of that pie, that means I'm taking a part of the whole pie away, okay? And usually when you cut a piece of pie, you're usually cutting equal sized pieces, okay? When you go to cut a pie to serve it to four people, you usually cut it in four equal slices. So a fraction of that pie is one piece of it that I take away. Same with a whole pizza, okay? Make a circle with your hands, all right? You're holding a whole mini pizza. All right now let's say my Jackson is hungry and he wants a piece of that pizza and I want a piece his dad wants a piece and his grandma wants a piece All right so I have to cut this pizza into four equal pieces so we can each have a part we can each have a fraction of it so I could cut it in half that would give me two pieces and then half again. Now that would give me four pieces. Okay. I know it's kind of a hard thing to picture, but I'm sure all of you have seen a pizza. Maybe you've even watched mom or dad cut a pizza, right? The next time you guys get a pizza at your house, it's a great time to talk about fractions. Okay. Because you're each going to have a part, of that whole pizza, you're each gonna take a slice or you might take two slices. So that's each a fraction of that pizza. All right, so I have um, pictures here to show you. There's a whole pie and I cut one piece of it. So I cut a fraction of that pie. There's a pizza, the whole pizza and I cut out a piece. I took a fraction of it. So that piece is part of this whole pizza, but I'm taking it away, all right? Usually when we talk about fractions, we talk about equal pieces, okay? So like if I have a whole pizza and I wanna cut it in half, I wanna cut down the middle so this side and this side are the same. They are equal, they are the same size, okay? If I was gonna share this pizza with Jackson and I cut like way over here and I gave myself this whole section and gave Jackson this little section, he would not be a happy person. That is not sharing equally. That is not cutting it in half so we each have the same size, all right? I'm gonna show you some pictures here. I wrote the word equal and not equal for us to sort, all right? So here's a square, okay? And I drew a pink line on that square did I draw my pink line so each side 
is equal where I cut it in half. Do the halves look the same size? Yeah, they're, they're supposed to. So this would be cut equally. So we'll put that on the equal side. Now this diamond, I drew a pink line through to cut it in half. Did I really do a good job? Does this side look the same size as this side? Uh -uh. No, this side's much bigger. So that is not equal. Here's a triangle with my pink line to cut it in half. This side is much bigger. This side's pretty tiny. So did I do a good job? Did I do equal? No, so that goes on our non-equal side. There's another triangle. Does that look better? Is that more equal? Does this side look the same size as this side? Yes, that was better. There's a heart with a line. This side's pretty big. This side's smaller. So that would be not equal. Oh, somebody's calling a star. There's my cut line, but I cut it in half so both sides are equal. No, I did not. Little piece, big piece. And my last one is a rectangle. This side is a little bigger than this side, so did I cut it equal? No, I did not. So I actually only had two pictures that I showed you where I cut them equally. So we could use them for fractions because each side is the same. Okay. So we're going to think about half for our first fraction. Okay. We're going to think about dividing things into half so each part is the same size, each part is equal. So back to the pizza thinking, I have a whole pizza. I cut it in half. So one half of the pizza plus the other half of the pizza equals the whole pizza. So when you have one half of something and another half of something, that equals the whole thing. Like my piece of paper, if I folded it in half, I have one half over here and I put with one half over here, then all together it's a whole piece of paper. Now the fraction, when you draw the fraction when you write it. You write one and a small line and then under that line you write a two. That's how you write half. Um, a lot of times you might hear people say well in about one and a half hours or we have about five and a half miles to drive yet. Um, or something measures half an inch or six and a half inches. So whenever you hear that word half, this is how you write it with numbers. If you're doing something that has to do with math, you write a one, a line, and then a two. Okay, so that's how you write the fraction number. So what are you going to do at home to practice this? You're going to draw some pictures, look around your house of things that you could cut into half equally. Things that would look the same on each side if you cut them in half. All right, for example here, I have a Pac-Man. All right, if I could cut my Pac-Man in half, would he look the same on both sides? He would have one eye and part of his mouth. 
On the other side, he would have one eye and part of his mouth. So I could cut him equally. Each half put together would make the whole. Okay. Um, my shoe. Okay. If I split my shoe in half, would it be the same? Well, almost. It's kind of, it might be a little hard to see, but this toe goes up a little higher and there's some different writing here. So that wouldn't be the same on each side. If I cut it in half this way, then I would have the toe part and where I put my foot part, that wouldn't be the same. So that would be hard to cut your shoe in half equally. All right, so I'll give you some other ideas here. I, have, I drew a picture frame, and if I cut that in half, I'll just fold it in half, okay? Each side would look the same. There's half the picture frame, there's the other half of the picture frame, okay? So that would be something we could split into half that would be equal. Here is a bowling pin. There's half of the bowling pin, the other half of the bowling pin, and then all together there's the whole bowling pin. And yes, my husband is a bowler, so yes, I do have a bowling pin actually in my house. Um, a cupcake. If I could fold my cupcake, would it look the same? on both sides, pretty much. Um, a pie, most of these are going to be food. A pie, if you cut it in half, it would look the same on both sides, so it would be equal parts. This is a slice of bread. If you can fold a piece of bread in half, it's the same on both sides, so it would have equal parts. Um, a heart. Drawing a heart. It has two equal parts. The same on each side. Um, a chocolate chip cookie. If I cut it in half, the chocolate chips might be a little different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, and then of course a pizza. You cut a pizza in half and have the same thing on both sides of your pizza. Okay. Now you don't have to draw that many things, maybe draw five or six things. Um, just look around your house or you don't even have to draw. Just think, if I could put an imaginary line between whatever you're looking at, does it look the same on each side? Could you cut it in half and have two parts that equal the whole thing, okay? All right, so that is your job to look around your house. Two parts that equal the whole thing, all right? Awesome. Have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.